in six, five, four, three, action. Wow, Poto, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another episode of Obina Show Live. This is the only show that we come to you live. It is uncut, it is unscripted, and everything we say here is as is. All right? We record at this beautiful location. It's called Miale 72 Lounge. It's in Lovington. They are our hosts. They told us, Obina, bring the show here. We're going to be having a good time. We'll be hosting you. So we eat. We have a good time. We host our friends over here. So if you're looking for a nice private place to come and hang out, you're looking for a club, a place you want to turn up, you're looking for a place you want to come and do your birthday party, your engagement party, your baby shower, Miale 72 Lounge is a place to be. Also, they have a car wash. Maybe you're looking for a place to come and wash your car. The Wi-Fi is strong, security guaranteed, ample parking, and the food. Mwah. When you pass by here, ask them for Miale Special. That's my favorite. It's a chicken that's done in a certain way. You just tell them, I want to be nice, Miale Special, and you'll thank me later. So welcome to the show. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and tell a friend to tell a friend that Obina Show Live is officially live. Our guest today is a controversial gentleman. He's a gentleman who came and took over TikTok with a storm. And for the last one week, there's a lot of stories that have been going around, some generated by him, but others by bloggers. But we managed to get a hold of him, and we're going to be discussing all this and much more. So for the first time on Obina TV, I'm hosting the one and only Chira, <laughs> Brian Chira. <laughs> Hi. What's up, what's up? My name is Chira. Yes. I'm Brian Chira. Okay. It's a pleasure for you having me here. Thank you for coming, bro. <laughs> Thank you for honoring our invite. Yes. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so you came from Nakuru? Yeah, it's all the way to come to you. Imagine. Wow. Okay, you did all that for me? Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. That's nice. That's nice. Welcome to Nairobi. Welcome to Miale and welcome to Obina TV. Like in Kunabaridi, bro. Kunabaridi? Ni mono umekuju meva duve. Ube zemu meva tent. Man. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. If uh, if you hang around Nairobi for a while, mm -hmm. you'll get used to it. Sure. Don't let me in a frizz and shine too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But you've been treated nicely. Very. Okay. Very. I can't You're complain. So can't complain. Karibu sana. Brace for impact because we're gonna be having a lot of conversations today. Zingine zitakuwa moto. I'm ready. Zingine zitakuwa fire. I'm the OG. Hit you me. are the OG. Hit me. So let's start by how you talk. Bona wonge tu normal. Quite enough for going yards. Okay. I'm a cheerer. Brian cheerer. See, won't get to say me, I'm cheerer, Brian cheerer. I'm, I'm Brian cheerer, like, you know. <laughs> like, even now, I'm like, I'm cheerer, Brian cheerer. I'm like, just talk normal. I, you need to say that, like, it's normal. For me, for me, this is how I speak. I don't find it, like, awkward how I speak. Okay. Yeah. So, you go to sour. Me, you go to sour. You don't know, like, kuna. I always thought that it's, it's an accent you put up. It's like me when I decide to, when I break into pigeon, I'm like full pigeon Niger. <laughs> you know, but sometimes I switch back, but the pigeon sneaks in sometimes. My little. So me, I thought like, you talk normally. That is, this is how I speak. Yeah, I was sitting here, we're eating here with you. I'm like, this is how he really speaks. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Because I was going to tell you, bro, please, for this interview, you're going to talk normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brian Chira. The one and only. Where are you from? I'm from Kambu. Oh, Apa. Kawaii Tito. Yeah. Say, Kwa Matangi. Kwa Matangi. Yes, Wama Pipa. With your sister. I come from Gidungori. Okay. Originally from Kagwe, but. Yo, Gidunguri. Yes. There's a lot of pork in Gidunguri. And there's a lot of milk and a lot of money there. Yeah, Gidunguri, <laughs> I remember. That is that is home. Okay. I've been raised by my grandmother. Okay. And yeah, I have my two cousins who we live together. Okay. Yeah, that is generally my background. What do you do in Nakuru? Because like you've come from Nakuru, but you're from Gidunguri. I'm I'm in Kabarak University. I'm doing oh. economics and mathematics. My man, my man. The genius himself. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> I like it. 
Gabarak University. Wow. Yes. Economics and mathematics. Yes, that's me. Okay. That's me. Okay, that's something. That's you know, me. people see you on TikTok, while twerking, twerking, they think that's... Twerking, twerking. That, that's all. I saw you twerking. <laughs> I, I have receipts, bro. I got receipts. But, so before we get into the Kabarak University and everything, you grew up in Gidunguri. Yes. Primary school, Gidunguri. Yes. High school? Mer Meru, Kobo High School. Ngobo? Yeah, Ngobo. Yeah, Ngobo. I said Ngobo. I went there to do an event. Okay. Then I was like, Ngobo. They told me, no, no, no. no you said Ngobo. Ngobo. Yes. So in Ngobo. Yeah. You finished. In, in 2018. What did you get? I got a B plus. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> You're serious. I like it. Yeah. Then you were called to Kabarak or you. Uh, yes, I was called to Kabarak. Okay. I'm a government, I'm a government sponsored. Okay. Yeah. So when did you start uh, Kabarak? 2019. Okay. But I had to drop out because of school fees. Okay. My aunt passed on who used to pay my school fees and who used to take care of all of us. But I think this government is has sponsored the thing. It's a private institution. So as as a student there, yeah. you will have to you will have to you will have to pay you will have to incur. Yeah. They call them they call them what, what do they call them? Is it do internet or hospitality? Like it's just like a boarding school, let me call it that way. Oh, okay. I, I forget the why they use it the the why they use it for for why we should pay that thirty two thousand that's two thousand oh also yeah. there's that two thousand to pay on top that's per year that's or no, per sem that, that is per semester I know okay yeah. so for every government sponsored student they have to pay an excess of thirty two thousand exactly. per semester sure okay okay so your auntie passed on I had to drop out because. There was a lot of financial financial difficulties around home. Okay. My show could not even afford to like feed us, okay. take me to school. Aliacha my aunt aliacha watoto wawili, so ni sisi sasa to to jihasulia. Una get. Okay. So there was that there was that break that I took from school to learn a skill I do nails. So I I oh. I learned the skill of doing nice. nails. That is why saying in a non Nangani Kwan Meva could just get in a vajo of Kupen and you could see advertise. You're like, hey guys, branch here. Uh -huh. You're like, no, can you watch your, your boy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no wonder. Okay, that's, yeah. that's nice. Yeah. So you started doing the nails. Mm -hmm. This is in Nakuru. Yeah, that's Nakuru, Kaba, around Kabarak. Okay. Yeah. So some other students, uh, comrades, they know. They Brand know. X nails. Yeah. So sometimes I'll get gigs, sometimes. In a Kwanga too. How much do you charge? I ch I, for the nails it depends on what you want what i do like the one i've done that is that is 300 shillings oh, okay yeah then if Same. someone wants the add-ons the add-ons that is 1500 yeah. stick on there is the tips that is 2000 okay and there's the acrylics i do them for 2500 and there's polish pure okay. polish that is 5500 okay yeah do you do house calls yes actually i'm a i'm a i'm a how do I call it? Freelance. Yes, I'm okay. a freelance. You, you tell me where you are, I'll come. If you were not comfortable with me coming to your place, I can find a shop. I That's can, close to? Yeah, to where you are. Then okay. you do it there and I get my money and go home. Okay. Yeah. So if there's someone who probably, because I'm just thinking supporting household, mm -hmm. since you're here, why not? There's a big platform. You can use it as well. True. So probably there's someone who wants to support uh, your business. True. They want you to go make their wife's nails, their nails. Da 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 birthday parties, everything. Your sure. phone number so they can get you maybe? Zero seven sixteen one eighty four four six four. The name is Brandon Boy. Okay. Oh, what happened to Chira? <laughs> <laughs> that is my impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> well like two stupid white numbers. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a letter Brandon Boy. Okay. Yeah. So making nails, going to school, you are to defer because of school fees? Sure. So now you're not in school? I'm in school. Yeah, I'm in school. The church took the, the church took the mantle of of paying my Pay. school fees. Which church? PCA. Oh. Okay. But I have to chip in also. Like they pay half, I pay half. So oh. it's a it's a good deal. You know, okay. as long as I'm in school. You stay in I, school or you stay outside? No, school? I stay outside school. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So now you're in which year? I'm a third year student. Mm. Mm. You're about to. I'm about, about to leave and about join to. you yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. join us in the streets. But you're already on the streets with us either way. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So Brian goes to school. Mm -hmm. Good boy. Mm -hmm. Everything is happening. You're trying to hustle, trying to make ends meet. 
And then what made you famous, how most people knew you, was the video that you were an eyewitness. Sure. How did that happen? Actually, Where were you? I was in Gata, that is in Nakuru. Okay. And I was from, I was from, nilikuwa nilikuwa kibarua, na kuwa shanguo. So, walikuwa minilipa like 400. Okay. So, me, when I, I was walking home, it was at around 3. So I was like, I was so bored, I don't have friends to ha go hang out with. So I just decided, let me watch an Ingea White in Spirits. I'm going to go to the house. 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 And then now that is when the accident happened. So I literally was on the spot. Literally was on the spot. 3D. 3D. Okay. And that is why now I ended up being on camera because everybody who was passing by was like, they noticed me, so they were like, I was pushed in front of the camera. It was God's way of saying, Chira, your time is here. <laughs> I like the confidence. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so after God talking to you. Uh, okay. So now it, it blew up. I was trending without even me knowing that I'm trending. Okay. I never even had a phone, you can imagine. Na jiona kwa mipasho everywhere, like, oh, Chira, you're trending today. I love now after that. I came, I came, the next video I did was with a wig, because I wanted to surprise Kenyans. Like, okay, you've seen this boy who is, you've seen this Kakijana, so I wanted to give you the opposite of it, so that you can be like, oh, we want to know who he is. Okay. So the next video I did, I did with a wig, and my, I said, my name is Chira, I'm Brian Chira. And that video went viral again. So after that, it has now been content after content, English content, because people tell me I'm fluent. Okay. Previously, I was doing Kikuyu comedy, but it was not going. So now that I had this opportunity to do it in English and yeah. people loved it, yeah. I feel it with it. Okay. Yeah. Most of the videos you do, you always look high. Really? Yeah, even that, the the accident uh, <laughs> eyewitness one, <laughs> you're just there like, I'm Chira, Brian Chira. So the car was, uh, I'm like, he goes, who's that? <laughs> so <I'm> like, <laughs> Why yeah, are it, you always high? No, I'm not always high. Are you high now? No, I'm not. <laughs> ah, this is sober you. B this is me. This is, this is Brian Chira. This is sober me. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just wondering if this is all by you, then I'd like to see the high you because me, I thought you're high. When I came, I was like, oh. Really? For real? Really. So you are not always high? Yeah. Yes. It, it is because of the narrative that people have created and what blogs have put out there. If you Google me right now, you, I'll come up as the dry, drunk eyewitness. So everybody's going to be like, oh, new lem levy. New lem levy. So that you'll see that, that notion of new lem levy. <laughs> exactly. Mm. So you will assume that I'm drunk. And of which it's not always the case. Yes, I drink sometimes, but not always. Okay. Yeah. So you got the eyewitness. You did the other video with the wig. Mm -hmm. At what point did you decide to be a full on TikTok? Or how did you join TikTok? Because you're quite big in TikTok. I've noticed that. I didn't know that, but now I'm I'm coming to notice I'm very huge. And okay. I, what I, I flew with it. Nile too could be a chira. Okay, you have this opportunity to become something. I've always wanted to be on radio. That is why I listen to you a lot. You don't know that. Oh, thank you. I used you. to listen to you and Menje. Thank you. So, like, I, I've always wanted to be on the limelight. And when this opportunity presented itself, like, I had to go with it. I had to run away with it. That is why I had to do video after video. Daily, 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 I had to, like, post three videos. One will go viral, two won't, but they will go viral, like, after two weeks. Okay. That is when now I decided, I, I love who you see these other TikTokers doing good. Like they are making money out of TikTok, TikTok. Yeah. they are getting brands. And now I'm here, I have this opportunity. I have no school fees, I have no money to give to fend for my cousins. I can't do anything for myself. So I saw TikTok as an opportunity for me to grow, to become a household name in Kenya, to become the next socialite because that is what I want to be. You want to be a socialite. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Chira, brand Chira. I thought Kitty was him, ah. Kitty was Oh wow. Okay. How, yeah. how young are your cousins? One is fourteen. The other one is nine. You're the one taking care of them. At some point, yes. How old are you? 
I'm only 22. Okay. So you wanted to be on radio for a while. Have you sent any demos out to radio stations? Yes, I've, I've hit up NRG. Kiss FM, I've not heard whether they have open opening. But like, you know, you never know. I've, I've, been, I've always tried to hit you up, people. You people were mko uko mshafika mkondani. Sometimes you respond, sometimes you don't. Yeah. So the way it works is like this. When someone is, is uh, seated on the throne, mm -hmm. and you try to tell them, yo, bro, I want to come for your throne. They were true. That's a threat. True. Most people don't know. When I was in the village, Nikilimia Watu, I used to listen to Otoyo and Masawe Japani. True. Then I really, I would do the Otoyo accent perfectly. That time Papa Shirandla was huge. So the Otoyo Jalango accent, I would do it beautifully. Papa Shirandla, I would do Njoroge. I'm very good in voices, so I would do the uh, Njoro voice nicely. Then I would reach out to them. I would try and reach out to them and tell them, I can do your voice. I can come on the show like your son or something. I didn't know it was. So the best people to give you jobs on radio are not the presenters. Because also them, that's the way they live. It's the bosses of the presenters because they know, this one we are firing. <laughs> this one yeah, we are letting go. Mm -hmm. We want cheap labor. We want this and this and that. For example, like now, uh, Trace mm -hmm. is looking for radio presenters. Wow. You should think of sending something there. Just check it online. Trace where Aziad is. They are looking for presenters for uh, various shows. I'll try that. Yeah, just try. try it, it doesn't hurt because if you try and you don't get it, at least you try. tried. And if you try and you get it, at least you tried. Yeah, so just keep on sending. You never know. Even your local radios in Nakuru. Just do them. Like myself, when I started radio, I was discovered in a club. I was doing a comedy show in a club. Then I've done all the shows on radio. So I started with Graveyard from midnight till five in the morning. I remember that. Yes, then most guys were laughing at me. People in the industry, I'll not mention them here, but now we are with them. And they used to laugh at me that Obina and Ongelesha were Melala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did about six months free. I was not being paid. Then I was put on a 10,000 shillings monthly return, I think for like nine months. Wow. And I would do that show. Then I jumped on Easy FM, which was next door. We started doing Home Run with Brian and Cupid. Mm -hmm. I was still being paid 10000 but I was doing two shows. two shows. So I do Brian and Cupid from 7 until midnight. When Brian and Cupid leave, I jump on QFM as a different personality. I was being called MGZ. I have it here, this MGZ. So Ogao, Obina, Obina Ike Igwe, the Nigerian Joker, mm -hmm. something like that. So on, on Easy FM, till midnight, then I jump on QFM. I did it for about nine, eight, nine months with 10,000 shillings. Then now the Obina brand started growing. Break time show came. We did the break time show in high schools. Then, no, before that, there was Kajaro Music Comedy. Mm -hmm. Then break time show. Then comedy club. Then I did some appearance on Churchill show. Then uh, Offside came on NTV that I was with Otoyo now. Then now after that, I've done mid-morning with San sure. For about a year or so, I did drive with Antonio Soul. Then I now have done breakfast with Kamene. Then with Kwambox. So I've done the full 360, but it took time. The problem is most young guys nowadays, you think you are ripe and you want it now. When I look back in my life, there's a lot of things that I wanted then. And right now I realize if I was given then, yeah. bro, I would not have managed. Because the things I have in my head now, how I handle situations now, how I react, the things I do, I know the end game. I'm like, this is what I'm looking for, this is what I want. Before then, I was just like, bro, I can do your voice, put me on TV. I want fame, I want money, I want this. Bro, sometimes you're not ready. You see the challenges you're going through now? Yeah. They're preparing you for. Like myself, bro, I've been rejected. I was rejected by my father. I was rejected by a lot of other people, a couple of employers. And anytime I was rejected, I used to think like, what's wrong with these people? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with them? Right now, I realize all those rejections were blessings because they're pushing me into the person I am now. If my father didn't kick me out from home, I always say this all the time, I would have been a pastor now or a primary school teacher. I'm not saying primary school teacher is bad, but for me, I would not have thrived on it, enjoyed it, but my father wanted me to be on a government payroll. Sure. I even tried for police, bro. I tried for military. I went running those things for 32 <laughs> teeth. I've done all those things. Bro, I've gone to industrial yeah, area. Okay. I've done, I've done Django. I've worked in a hotel. I've been a street boy. I've done all these things, and it's taken about 10 to 11 years to be where I am now. So most people meet you, they're like, you know, me, I want you, support me, I want to become big. The good thing your generation has is digital life is very big. Okay. When I was starting, people had to wait for Sunday. When we just hear, 
it's Churchill show, bro. Everybody's. You sit down if watching. it's Thursday, you just hear, yeah, 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 yeah. Papa Shirandula. Everybody Guys are like, watching. yo, yo, yo. When you just hear, now, it's time, smack down. Tuesday, you know, it's wrestling. <laughs> it's, you know, like we used to have. Nowadays, bro, you don't watch this live, you'll watch it. Now we're doing a live show, bro, on YouTube. Sure. You guys have TikTok. Someone does one video today. Tomorrow they are big. Look at Kaveve Kazoze. She's the big hill man. She's huge. And guys are like, oh my God. And everybody, Kaveve Kazoze, Kashkrop, Yanyandaro, Nimawaru. With one video and it has over a million. True. Now it makes the musicians who are, the John Legends of Kenya <laughs> start feeling like, no, they're spoiling the music industry because they're singing this way, but people are watching. I'm singing this way, nobody's watching. watching. What they don't know is like, if it's your time. It's your time. Bro, you will sing the most bullshit thing ever. You will do a very stupid clip. It's like now, Gideri, man. He didn't do nothing. He stood on a line for election with Gideri. He trended, he was taken, he got endorsement deals and whatever, that he united Kenya. Sure. Because it was his time. So when someone is feeling, but this person, no. Chira, it's not your time. Bro, I might do this interview. There's a boss somewhere who will watch this thing, probably on radio or TV. It's like, I want that boy to be employed here. That is your time. And probably if you didn't come here, you might not have. Sure. So I always tell content creators, you want to create, create, put it in the digital space. Instagram, Facebook, wherever, wherever you want to put it. Someone will see it. Bro, if it's your time, it's your time. So like you, you're like, I reached out to you guys. I want to be on radio. I want to be on radio. Maybe it's not your time. Do you know in 2013, 2013, 2015, I sent email to Caroline Mutoko and Maina. Kageni. Mm. I have the emails on my phone. I was requesting for shows on Kiss and Classic. Mm. Maina did respond, but Caroline responded and told us, I've seen this, we'll advise, we'll do whatever, whatever, whatever. It never happened then. I was furious. It's like, these guys, bro, a bit. I was furious. I was just like, these guys, they don't know the potential I have, man, all this. Because that That's time true. when I was doing break time, sure, I'm going to high schools, bro. Fame has just come in, I've just bought my first car. I'm like, bro, I'm the biggest. Bro, we leave work like this every evening. I don't drink, but we are in Tribeca. We leave Tribeca in Mojos. We leave Mojos in Westland Changes. We leave Changes in Bacas, Bacas, Aqua, Aqua, Riviera. We're just doing Hypnotica. We've gone to Hypnotica. We're aware. Like, I'm feeling like this is the time when bro, Bristol and Gong Road, I'm like, this is the time I have to. My God is like, relax. <laughs> so back then, I was the biggest because in my crew, I think I was the first one to buy a car because... Eric Komondi had a Nissan Bluebird. Mm -hmm. Then I think he moved to a Benz or something. But then in my crew, that is uh, Chipukizi, Fred Omondi, Matayo, Owago, Othuolo Thuol, da 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 da. I was the first one to buy a car because I was given a car loan by Nation Media Group. There was a GM, it was called Charles Mai, mm -hmm. beautiful guy. He saw me, I was like, Obina, now you're too famous to be on Matatus and everything. We'll mm -hmm. give you a car loan. Linus Gitai, an amazing guy, he was the CEO. When he saw me perform, he was like, Obino, I'm going to give you a contract to work here. And everything changed. Esther Masharia saw me in a club, gave me the opportunity. Like everything was aligning. But for me, I was like, I want it now. But if I look back in everything that I've been through, the situations and everything, until now, I'm like, so that is why, that's why I was fired from Nation. Because if I wasn't fired from Nation, I would not have gotten the Kiss gig. Sure. And if my dad didn't kick me from home, I would not go to the street, I would not hustle, I would not do this, this. So most young people don't see that. And most young people are not patient. I inboxed Obina. Obina did not respond. Obina is rude. I hate you. <laughs> I'm depressed now. I was talking to someone today. She, she DM'd me. Uh -huh. She told me she's in, she's in campus. And she can't raise her fee balance. So she needs to finish her course. I think she wants to be a nurse or something. Mm -hmm. To finish her course so she can get, I think, a certificate or something to be a nurse. So she can get money to take care of the family. And actually, like, if you help me pay my school fees balance, it's like 70-something thousand. I'm good to go. But you know, she knows her, that's her problem. What she doesn't know, that's her problem. That's not your problem. No, no, no. I'm not, no, not, not my problem. That's her problem. There's another one somewhere who has not eaten and is in my DM. There's another mother and child who have been kicked out of their house. They're in my DM. There's someone in the hospital who's like, bro, I'm sick now. I need medical. Like there's some guy, I think he's also from Nakuru. He's been shitting blood for the longest. We need to do a show with him so guys can change him some money. He may just need some small money to do the medication, find out why he's been shitting blood for the longest. 
That's what he even sent me the video. I was like, yo, bro, come down. You see? But now the one in university, how is, how she's like, this is the only problem, and if you sort this. And I'm like, there are bigger, worse problems than school fees right now. Chira was washing clothes for people. Chira was making nails to try and find a way to pay school fees. Now Chira is doing TikTok things to get fees. This mother and child probably will be kicked off by the husband or who have been whatever homeless. They need an immediate solution. Sure. This person has not eaten for the last two, three days. They need an immediate solution. Sure. So sometimes we think our problems are the biggest for getting the someone else with a bigger problem. But because you can't see it. So you assume, ah, this guy is not helping me. Bro, I'm helping someone else who has a bigger one, but will get around to it. If I can tell people, you see. Mm -hmm. So like you, good voice. Voice for radio. But most radios now, they've changed. We're even discussing it there. Yeah. You listen to radio shows and you listen to people talk. And they're like, what the hell? I was trained how to... I, I was on radio for a while without training. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I'm a comedian. Yeah. If you're a contributor, sometimes you don't necessarily need the full-on training because you're a contributor. The main presenter will guide you. They'll do everything, the ads, the whatever, whatever, and bring for you. Yeah, you saw that story for. Then you just chip in and they do everything. But later on, there's a lady called Olivia Otieno. She came to Nation. She gave us a crash course on radio. That is when we sat down and realized, wait a minute. What have we been doing on radio? And when she came, we were angry. What do you mean? We, we're big. <laughs> look, look at the numbers, man. She's like, no, 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 no. Radio cutters is this. Radio structure is this. You have to do this. When you're getting in a link, you have to back announce the song that is ending. Then you have to tease on what's coming next. Then you have to execute. But before you execute, you have to say your names. Who are you? What am I listening to? So that's Obina with Friday Night playing right here on Obina Show Live. Coming up next, we have Chira with TikTok da 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 da. But for now, yeah, with Obina and Chira live, and I want us to talk about this story that's been making headway on da 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 da. But when you listen to radio nowadays, musicians, guys, just got in the da, da, da. you're like, which station is this? Okay, who is that? What are they talking about? There's no you. tonal variation and everything. And also, there's a guy called Pete Sinclair. Mm -hmm. He's also on, on Radio Africa. He also was teaching me how to project your voice, how to be very present. Also, uh, PQ, the boss for Radio Africa, also was teaching me lean in, do whatever. I didn't know these things. So you see? So most people don't know these things. So you listen to radio, you're just like, but why is that happening? Because most employers are going for cheap labor. Sure. Or, I know someone who knows someone. Or, you are very famous on TikTok, let's throw you in so we convert your numbers here. But you sure. don't know anything. Sure. That's what's happening. So you might have the talent, yes, but brace for impact, bro. You might not get the job. It's not because you're not qualified. It's because life is happening. There's someone who knows someone. Sure. There's someone who did something. There's someone who's have, having favor or whatever. So don't let it affect you and say, you know, guys, da, 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 da. I'm saying all these things to make you understand it takes time and patience. And God helps those who help themselves. You too, my bro. End a Kwaizo station send demo, do whatever. You have someone like me, I'll advise you, da, 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 da. We'll try. If it goes through, thank God you tried. If it doesn't go through, still thank God you tried. And in the process, enjoy the journey. That's what most people as assume. Like yeah. now, bro, you're big on TikTok, enjoy the journey. It's not about the destination. It's the journey. The journey. That's why, bro, I eat what I want when I want. I want to eat chicken today, bro. I'll eat chicken, bro. I've suffered. I'll go to the gym because I want, when I eat, I want that. I don't want to become very, you know, unhealthy. I want the body to be good. I want to be healthy. I want to be with my kids. I want to play with them. I want to go to this place. I want to travel. I want to look good. I want to smell good because I'm enjoying the journey. So when I get the destination that I want, I want to build this big house in Nairobi. I want to build this school for people to come in and study free of charge. I want to build a hospital. I want to do all these things. If I don't get there, I've enjoyed and I've helped the orphans that I was helping and the other people. If I get there, thank God I also help these ones on the way. True. So enjoy the journey. True, true. Make yeah. hay while the sun shines. True. <laughs> <laughs> All right? Yeah.
Which now brings me to your story. I've mm -hmm. seen your TikTok live and everything. Mm -hmm. Why are you so angry? I'm never angry. Like <laughs> your TikTok videos, you're always insulting someone somewhere. What's up, bro? Let me say this: If you come at me, I'm gonna come at you. And uh, I've noticed the person who attacks is always regarded the best. The person who attacks is the best, but when I retaliate, it becomes a problem. Minki kujibu sasa we ah ah chira you are not supposed to do that. Eh, you're not supposed. But you're the one who held insults at me at the first time. So why would am I am I not human? I'm not angry. Sometimes you people aggravate me so much. You literally aggravate you're me. You're always angry. So I just see your video. I saw another one. You're putting the phone on the on the in a bar. <laughs> and you're telling the guy, "You gonna pay her? You gonna pay her?" And I'm like, "Yo, Chira, you're making the same mistakes I made, man. Come down. <laughs> like, don't don't do that. Don't do that." No, I was provoked. I was watching someone's live and they were really talking ill of me, and I was like, "Wait, what?" This is what I will tell you. Mm -hmm. Silence. Is golden. It's the best weapon. I learned the hard way. For unworthy fights. There are fights that are worth having. True. There are True. fights that are unworthy. Like now I'm having a fight with Salasia. It's worth having. It's worth having. Yep. Because now you see, they're helping Steve O. It's serving its purpose. True. The idea is I'm going to aggravate you so that you do this thing. So I'll take the missiles, I'll be insulted, I'll be done forever, but I know what I'm doing. Finally, we you are helping Steve-O, we are solving the problem. True. But now you just go and just get some random person and you're just insulting the random person who nobody knows, nobody cares about. You're Brian Chira, bro. True. You need to get in the head, I'm Brian Chira. I used to be there. I was engaging with every other dogs that were barking. Then I realized, wait a minute, you see. Don't you feel like your cousins, the younger ones, and all the other people follow you, the ones in campus, the Gen Zs and everything, sure. don't you feel you are misleading them uh, with your type of content and your personality? I think I'm, uh, sometimes I feel I'm uh, unapologetic, apologetic about what I say. Okay. And I'm not misleading anybody. I am just living my life. I'm living my life. I'm, I'm uh, appreciating the mistakes that I've made of, of like calling out people I shouldn't call out. I know, and I've, I've reached out to them and apologized. I'm not going to come out loud and say that I've done. They say the disrespect, the, if the disrespect is as loud, the apology should be as loud as, it, as the disrespect. Some have done it online. And uh, my cousins, they have a life to live. I have to live my life as but, Brian Chira. bro, they say mm -hmm. to he who much is given, mm -hmm. much is required. Sure. You are given a platform, you have given the power that when you talk, a lot of young people listen to you. Sure. Forget the fights. I'm talking about the content you do. Mm -hmm. You don't feel it's derailing. No, like, no, I don't. I'm just being me. I just, I'm just being me. I'm just being me. I'm not put out vulgar content but out where, there. Where, where do you draw the line? You, yes, being you is good. It's good to be you. But where do you draw the line? Where do you know this one I cannot say, this one? Because I've heard the things you say on live, bro. I've seen the videos you do on live, talking for some dude there. I'm like, you don't feel, where, where do you stop? When I, I think I was too ripe then. Okay. I didn't know, I didn't know there, there are things that affect my brand. Right now, I, I know there are some things I can't say online. There are some things I can't do like twerking and no, sometimes you know, it's not even about the brand. It's about the community. Bro, guys are watching. They are imitating. They are aping what you do. They want to be you. Everybody wants a bit of fame. And fame is a drug. The minute you test it, you want more. So they see, they're like, Brian Chira is famous by doing what? Twerking on live. Let That's what know. I'm going to do. I get you. But I feel, let's, we need to filter what we take in. That, that no, is what no, I'm no. going to say. No, no. People no. need to filter where they take. When you have children in the house, bro, I have children, you'll not just put everything on the table and tell them, you know, you need to watch what you eat. <laughs> I'll put everything on the dining table, but you need to watch what you eat. No. You tell them, listen, everybody, greens, greens, <laughs> greens. Whatever you're having, put greens. Dad, no, greens. So everybody puts greens. Mm. Once they eat the greens, whatever, they eat, it is fine. You're like, no sweets. Yeah. Every week, sweets you can only have once, maybe on Sunday. Like, you have to curate. You know, it's your responsibility. So I'm asking you as a brother, 
whatever you do, just know they always come back to hit you back later. Bro, I've done some things. I always sit down and I look. I'm like, if I knew, if I had someone to tell me, bro, don't do this, bro, don't do that, I would be different. So think about it. It's food for thoughts. Then later, because sometimes you'll do some things for hype. Then later in life, you know you don't know about tomorrow. Sure. You'll just sit down and just look and you're like, why the hell was I? Actually, it's, it, it's, it's actually happening. when I, that Sometimes I go live very, and I'm like, when I wake up in the morning and I look at what I did because there are always the screen recordings and I'm yep. like, bro, what was I doing? Yep. But now I've learned my lessons, let me say that. I've learned my lessons. And I'm working on becoming a better cheerer on live. <laughs> What's your beef with Mungai Eve? The first time, and I'm, I don't know why this has come up, but I'll say this. The, Mongaev wanted to interview me once. That was when my popularity was beginning to hit. I think I had like 20K followers on TikTok. So she really wanted an interview with me. And I was like, I need her to do it personally herself. So, KNT. And she didn't show up. She sends her, her cameraman and an interviewee. And I'm like, oh, I want Mongai Eve. If it's not Mongai Eve, I'm not doing this. <laughs> you know what you want. Mm -hmm. And I go for it. Mm -hmm. If it's not Mongai Eve, I'm not doing this show. So I got upset, very upset. I remember walking away. But we, we later reconnected. There was no beef. I just felt like, I don't know whether that is the right term to use. Like, just I, I'm too vivi, so I cannot do a show with you because it's just some random person who's just coming up on TikTok. You know, so that that is how I felt maybe she then. Was busy. Now I now know she. Was. Yeah, maybe you know you never know. Maybe that's true. Maybe she was busy. Maybe she was sick. Maybe yeah. she couldn't make it. There's always a lot of reasons Isn't for for something. Yeah, yeah, maybe you are you are you are a live wire. You know, you, a lot of people are touching with a 10-foot pole. Even me, I was told, Brad Chira is coming to the interview. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, being a dating Brad Chira. Like. But, they, but you look nice in person. Pick up a hey, team. yo. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hold it right there. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? No. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> Talk a uko very fast. <laughs> Abort mission. Abort mission. Exit only. No entry. <laughs> no entry. Yeah. <laughs> no through road. <laughs> Forward ever. Backward, backward never. never. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got but you. thank you for the compliment. Yeah. But. Screw <laughs> 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 Yeah. So sometimes mm -hmm. uh, people are scared of the perception that people will put. True. Like I saw you alive. Mm -hmm. You are crying with my name. I want to be that winner. I want to be that. I'm like, who's this guy? So that's the first time. Yeah, so yeah. he's normally sending my PA. It's called Calvin. So he sent me. So I was like, so like this guy's really calling for you. I'm like. So then I started now Hello. checking your content. I followed you. So I see some contents I like some. I'm like, you guy. You're like, no. I'm like, oh, <laughs> no, no, no. But that's when I know you. What was happening? Why were you crying, calling my name? I think I was obsessed with you. I am still obsessed with you. <laughs> it's just been content. No. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> you interview now, Nakisha. <laughs> I am obsessed with you in terms of content. Okay. So if, if there was a person that I would really want to mentor me on radio, because that is my goal to just say, my name is Shira. You're hanging out with Shira on your morning, whatever. Like, you were the first... You are my first person I would like go to. Okay. So me and Kilia, I just let me say I was maybe seeking sympathy. <laughs> <laughs> Zema, what the doctor my chose? We are the onions. Copy of Kaluma. Live. <laughs> <laughs> but then I was depressed, let me say that. Okay. It was the time that I did my video stating that I'm HIV positive. Yeah, we'll get to that as well a bit later. That is why now I did that. I was really on a low place. I actually remember doing that video. I need to call to my little of learning to name to Liana Kira. No, oh my god, I've come out to the world. I don't know whether it's gonna pay or it's backfire. Or it backfires. You know, it's always the biggest fear. Like, okay, I've done, I've put myself out here all these way. What if I don't make it? 
that is one of my biggest like whatever he does it but I, god has done it he's doing it okay yeah so then i was so depressed that is why i called jen not like oh he noticed me nice. <laughs> wow <laughs> must <Nice>. be nice <laughs> what's yeah. your beef with nyako imagine there is none but i am the og of tiktok she's the president i'm the og wow okay <laughs> you want to go down that route she's the president I'm you know the Nyako OG. is my personal person <laughs> and she's a good person and you're also my personal person, person. now you guys say oh gee where do these titles come from it's because you i think well, right now in kenya she me and there's a friend of mine i won't mention their name on this live because they, they are not here okay but i think we're the ones that are making heads turn on tiktok on tiktok yeah if you mention something if you want to go viral just mention the name nyako if you wanna go viral just do a video and mention brad Chira. simple as that boom gone gone so there's no beef and there's no i saw beef. a video you really talking there i was like that's a live wire <laughs> 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 but then there was a time i was on her platform she really did, did good for me she 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 supported me yeah. She came through. She, came, she, she always comes through. She's, she always comes through. She has her, <laughs> her rough edges, but, but uh, she's an amazing person. I know, I know, I yeah. know. Have you met her? No, I haven't. See, the, the, the company, you know, there, there's the Nyako clan, let me call it a Nyako oh. clan. Like, there are supporters who don't want, to, like, don't want me to associate with her, like, don't want me to get close to her. So they will come attacking me, you know, so we just... I just thought, let me not, let me not go meet her, the meet and greet thingy. Let me just stay at okay, home. Okay. Yeah. But there's no beef. There is no beef. It's just content. It's okay. just showbiz. You know how, how it goes. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. Now, mm -hmm. what Branchira is known about is you are, even the reason why I reached out and I told you I wanted to do this interview, mm -hmm. you are more, you are living positively with HIV. True. And I told you, bro, I want us to sit down and have a conversation so we can destigmatize sure. HIV. Because most of the time, I, I always don't like it when people know someone has HIV and HIV and AIDS, and people start behaving like it's leprosy. True. You know, like, oh, yo, we don't, don't look at me, bro. But you, you are there like, I have HIV and I'm taking this. Uh, bro, so you can pull this dog completely kindly so you came out and said i have hiv and i'm taking my ARVs. you even show them on on live sure. and you've just been very positive about it and i like that i was like this is the way it's supposed to be let's just be open about it because we have different people get hiv different they get infected differently sure. and once they get infected people around them get affected sure. so you find someone probably was born with it someone was molested someone got blood transfusion accident whatever you know, and then they get HIV positive, and then uh, life happens, and everybody's starting to avoid them like they did something that is off. Sure. So that's why I really wanted us to sit down and talk about that one as well. So, the HIV story how did you get HIV? Then, how did you know you get HIV, you, uh, you had it, and then what was the reaction? So before you answer that, drink, drink, drink a little bit of something, something, something. Kunywa kidogo, wacha, wacha news a magari. So you want to get some dope machines, you want to get a car. Kitu safi, si gari unatuingia hivi watu wanakuambia sasa. Mwana ume ni gari, bro. Talk to Magari Affordable, they're on social media. Just search Magari Affordable. Call them, DM them, they are legit. They are tried and tested. I can fully recommend them. They'll get you the car that you want at the price that you're comfortable with. Malipo ya pole pole, pia wakonayo. Maybe you don't have all the money. Because you are the life that we live now. Ukipata mtu wakonayo pesa yote pamoja, eh, pia mejaribu. Mambo ni kubambanya mambanya. Tu unataka kaso, unataka sombili, ka 50, pole pole, unamaliza. Malipo ya mdogo mdogo, they can also do that for you. You want them to import for you, they can do that or source for you locally. So talk to Magari Affordable. All right? Now, of course, when you want to drive a car, wezi zingi wa gari unakaki chuara chuara. Lazima luku inakuwa ni safi, lumbu tuku, natafta ka floral kengine ka nice unapiga you know sai kuna baridi majumpers zingine kali kali unatafuta look moja safi viatu nini mwanaume ni mavazi the way you you know first impressions matter when you show up you look good 
So talk to Style Hub KE. On social media, they are Royal Fit Style Hub. That is Royal Fit Style Hub. They have amazing clothes. They are very affordable prices, and they deliver countrywide. So talk to them and get to thank me later. But for now, Chira. Yes. Brian Chira. The OG of TikTok. The OG of TikTok. Okay. <laughs> 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 if it makes you happy. <laughs> yes, it does. So mm -hmm. how did you find out? Okay, how did you get HIV? How did you find out? Then what happened? How I got HIV is still a story that I... I I don't really like it's still difficult to talk about. And okay. Actually, this is the first, this is an exclusive you're getting from me. Yeah, thank you. So, Chira, Chira goes to Mombasa. Chira gets invited by, you know, there are these high end parties where people go to and there are people who are ready to pay for, for a good time. You know what I mean? Okay. So, Chira gets invited. I reach Nachkoko bus that is from Nakuru to Mombasa. I arrive at around seven, but the parties happen at night, you know, so you have to find a place. I had to find a place to hang out. A friend of mine used to school in Tum. He committed okay. suicide. Oh. So he invites me over and uh, I go. And there's a whole, and there's a whole, he invites like two, two, four people. So like Brian Chira, like we, we were friends, so we were schoolmates. So okay. still there are two two schoolmates of ours. Like now we are for you get me. And they come with their ladies. So it's a six six people in okay. a in the same room. In a room. In a room, yeah. Okay. It was a bed sitter. You know Mombasa they have, they have very special bed sitters. Yeah, yeah. So we order some drinks, one or two here in there, and things escalate. Things escalate to to an OG. Not to an OG. But but they are I felt like I was taken advantage of. There were two women. Yeah. Four men. Four men. So in short you're saying you are you are raped. Exactly. And I reported that there is there is evidence of everything. I went to the school, that is Kabarak University. I reported that. I was given the prep, but they, they for those who don't know what's prep, it's a medication where you, you can prevent the virus from, from multiplying. Multi Seventy-two hours uh, before, exactly. Yeah. So, so prep is prep is a medication you take if you've been exposed, you've had unprotected sex, or you've been an accident or blood transfusion, and you suspect you might be at a risk of having HIV. You take prep. 72 hours before. Sure. Yeah, I'm not sure if that still stands. It's still Last time, yeah. 72 hours before. Then now it will stop you from being HIV positive. Yeah. For those who don't know. Okay. So the physician didn't tell me how to take the medicine. So I used to skip a day. Actually, that I was going to go to the take them. So I was not given the direct, the, the right, I was not given the right directives on how to take, to take yeah. the medicine. So... That is how I turn, it can escalate to me in Kajikiria to Nikosa because they are 30 tablets. So when, you, when I finish the 30 tablets, I thought I'm fine. So a friend of mine invites me, that is after like three months. Three months. So wait, wait, hold up. This party that you guys were having mm -hmm. at night. It was during the day, actually. It was during the day. At yeah. night, you're supposed to go for that high end. For the, yeah, but I decided to leave Mama. So how did you know you were molested? Why did you black out? Yes, I, you I was, was too drunk. And so you didn't know what happened? I didn't know what happened, but... So you were raped with a man? Yes. So you were sodomized. That's sodomy. Yeah, that's sodomy. I, I had to talk about it, but yes, that is how it happened. Okay. So when you realized you were sodomized, what did you do? I left. I left the place. I oh, got you just, angry. Or you got angry and left? I, I left. Were they remorseful? Were they sorry? Were they what? Yeah, they were so sorry because the guy, the guy really was really, was really worried about my, my mental health and like, are you going to be okay? Are you going to be okay? No, are you going to be okay? Because he was also too drunk. So it's like, I don't know how to put it. Okay. 
Have you seen the guy since? He passed on. Okay. From HIV or no. something else? He overdosed. Okay. So you leave them, you go to the school. You didn't go to the police or? I went and picked a bus to, to Nairobi. Oh, you came back immediately? Yeah, immediately. Okay. The people you're going to have a good time with that night, did they reach out and find out where are you are not here? Yes, they did. Uh -huh. And I told them I can't make it. Came back Nairobi, fast forward, you've taken the prep, you didn't take it organized. Da, that da, was da. in 2020, by the way. Okay. Oh. Pre-COVID. Okay. So a friend of yours uh -huh, reaches, reaches out so to you? So a friend of mine, near time we are COVID, so there's a lot of financial constraints. So me na chochwa, na kupeleko ka uka have breko. Like lunch. I'm taking you to have lunch. I didn't know I was being taken to a VCT. Why was he taking, was, it was a he? Yeah. Why was he taking to a to VCT? Why, what was the? Because they, they get paid. There are some stipends people get paid if you take a client to get tested. There are these organizations that do that. Yeah, you get 500 shillings if you... For you real? Take, yes. Wow, I didn't know. Yes. This used to know. be free and it's, it's voluntary. Let me say this. There are organizations that have now have come into like, put more emphasis on people getting tested on HIV. So like they pay people yeah. to bring clients to the VCT. But VCT, the V is voluntary. That's true. Then the C is counseling, then testing. True. So... See, you know, I'm not going to talk to her, I understood him. Okay. And I'm happy he took me there. I'm, I was so glad by there. After, not after, if I look back and... Okay. Yeah. So, where did you kukula? I did kukula. I was going to go to the hospital. That was in Kambu Hospital, level okay. 5. I was going to go to the level 5. I was going to go to the level 5. And then I met like a whole line of people. And then the nurse called me. I was going and then they start checking, uh, you know how it goes, have you ever been tested, have you ever been, and I'm like, aye, whom ni gani? So because me na ji, na ji, na, I trust myself, and I'm like, they took the prep, so I know I'm safe. And it, it just turns out it was positive. I was skeptical at the, at the moment. I was the same, but she was like, hold up. Don't let other people, don't let your friends know that you, you've, you've, you've it has become, it is the other way, like you're positive. So we do three tests. All of them confirm. There's the first one, the normal test, the second normal test, and then there's the confirmatory test. All of them come out positive. So okay. it's true now I'm positive. How did you leave that hospital? <sighs> I just... You must have felt crushed. I felt so crushed. And then I was like in the middle of a... In the middle of a group of people. So like you have to smile. <laughs> you know, you just have to be there. But deep down, you know what is going You're on. You're dying. You're like, oh man, how? Why me? Why me? And then you know, there's always that mentality of there are things that cannot happen to you because you just you. Yeah. Sadly, that's the way you think. Yeah. So like, I used to think, ah, chira pati HIV, and then now it hits me. Oh my, chira, you're positive. I go home. I remember my cousin and when I chose football, I point I met with Shaluka and pick a gideri na avocado. Then I was like. Shosho, 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 Hana, Hana, like she's lost her two daughters. She's only one daughter left. So imagine the depression she's going through and not having to take care of these three grandkids that you have. And now you tell her that you're positive. Or I even give up on trying to become be a better person. What, what, what will be the use of that? So that is when I, that same, same day I decided to like, bro, we're going to take this medication. We have to become better. We have to do everything to become positive and avoid a lot of stress. Okay, I've been depressed here, yes, and I deal with it in so many ways, but yeah. Wow. Who was the first person you told? First person I told was my, my because I never went back to Kiambu Hospital. I went to another nurse that is in Gidongori. Okay. A facility. And um, the first people I told were you, the online community. <laughs> okay. My social found out actually through online. You can imagine. Oh, she knows. She knows after now come, coming clean online. That is when now she was like, I know she, she felt frustrated because we went like two months, three months without talking. 
imagine unaambwa na mama wa kijiji and you know how women can be and all the stigma around HIV and then you I know, I know she felt it but yeah Hai sho sho mtoto wako anakufa Exactly Ah mtoto wako ni maiti Exactly no you can imagine I know she was fa- I know she felt crushed but here we are living positively then I actually don't mind like someone pointing me out and saying I'm positive but I don't want me to be known as the positive guy I want you to know me as branch here the content creator person So you find out you had HIV why you angry at the guy did you maybe think of revenge did you think of hurting other people no i just knew where it came from you know there are things you cannot go and turn i was not angry at anybody i am the one who made the decision of going to mombasa i'm the one who made the decision of calling them i'm the one who made the decision of picking up that bottle so i don't blame them okay I don't blame them. I I chose to just move on. I saw it as a blessing in disguise in a way. I don't know why, but then when did you start taking ARVs? The week after. The week after, after you went. found out or yeah. after the nurse in Kidunguri. Yeah, no, so I, I took a week so that I can comprehend everything. Then now I just decided let me just go pick up my file now. It's time to get in into medication. For those who don't know ARVs, that is antiretrovirals, yeah. right? Uh, the medication that when you are HIV positive you take them they strengthen your immunity sure. so you don't get attacked your white blood cells don't get weakened so when you get attacked with other maugonjwa you can die sure. right because HIV really doesn't kill it weakens your immunity your immunity then other maugonjwa can easily kill you yeah. so if you are HIV positive you need to take ARVs so that you can continue working taking care of your family taking care of yourself being responsible so that you also don't spread it and also so that your family and the people around you that love you don't get to lose you so you'll just live healthy like myself like brand and another person if you're taking your ARVs but if you start missing them then it please explain to them it becomes a problem you have to eat good yeah you have to take a lot of water because the ARVs affect your liver and there's also other supplements you need to have those like seven Cs vitamins whatever you choose you know we all have different body cells and so there's always a certain supplement for you ARVs help personally um my viral load is zero i'm a, i'm healthy actually than you bina do you know that <laughs> my <Mommy>. man <laughs> my viral like load it. is zero yeah and uh, i take a lot of vitamins that is fruits 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 day in day out Yeah. Please tell the young people wache kupimana ukimwi na macho. Aki, please, Aki, usione mtu. Gen Z, you are looking at Obina like this, you're like this Obina guy ana kako sawa. Wewe nayo nayo. You find a ka nice looking shore like this, you're like huyu ana kasa wewe nayo nayo. Especially the girls in campus. True. Your first year, second year, third year, fourth year, even just the young urban professionals. True. You meet someone you've not tested, you just look at them una wapimwa ukimwi na macho kule, eh huyu ana ka And I think that is what people need to stop doing. I say wrap it up. If you have to just wrap it up. Yep. And if you can't just stop or go to a VCT. And a VCT is not guaranteed. You know someone might have had the infection a week ago. Even today. <laughs> Even today. You will not see it. You will not see. I think it, it takes more than a month. Yeah, it takes more than a more month. More than a month for it to be seen. Yeah. So you're like atumenda leo tuko sawa nayo nayo. Yeah, so yeah. I think the best pre- prevention is PEP for those if you want to engage in in unwrapped sex like <laughs> abc's abstain Abst- yes if you can abstain be faithful mm-hmm. if you can do that use a condom sure we see freak bila socks the born 90s will get it <laughs> they must be like hey freak bila socks have you walked with the socks in the house the whole time <laughs> but there's also the option of obina yeah. if you if you have a partner who is HIV positive you can take pep for that day and that will prevent you from getting infected by that. Oh wow. Yeah. For real? That is there the, 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 it's called pep. There's prep and there's pep. Okay, so many changanya. There's also how many bodies are kidogo. Yo si juu ati? And the post exposure. That's so it. you have a partner who is HIV positive. Yeah. And then you want to ogro ogro. Yeah. So who takes the pep? You who doesn't have. And then for 30 days. I love after that days na ingia dry fry. Fry fry. 
and I don't get infected. Are you? Hey! <laughs> 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 ah, Brian, watch out. If Please, the professionals <laughs> out there, <laughs> comment section you are a motto. Eh? It's true. For real? Yes, yes, yes. It's an advertisement in medicine. That's new. And there's also a vaccine I saw they're making. They are. If they get it, it'll be good. To be good. Uh, people will not be getting... Actually, there's also another one that will be coming. One year injection and you're good to go. No more pills every day. No more pills every day. That would be dope. I know. You said ARVs affect your liver. Yeah. I would, also didn't know that. If we, take, if we don't take a lot of water. Oh. Because they ha there's a lot of... They, ha they have... What do they call them? <laughs> Say toxins, I'm a ha I don't know. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. Because, you know, when you take medicine, it goes to the to the liver and the kidneys. Exactly. So that's how they get uh, in the system and they get the toxins get excreted. So, that's sure. the right word. Sure. Because if you meet Brian like this today and he didn't come out and say, you not know. Sure. Come, babe, trust me, man. Babe, me kofiti. I feel good. But if unless he tells you. So watch out. I noticed something. Mm -hmm. On your TikTok lives, you're always high. So you're taking ARVs and you're drinking. I thought the two don't mix. What was <laughs> what, that about? Please explain. I'm not always. Calvo, help me with this one, please. Come, come round. Uh -huh. I'm not always high. Let me say that. And the fact that I'm positive and mm -hmm. my viral load is zero, literally zero, I don't think, I don't think it can it can affect me in you any way. You don't think or you know? I know it can't. I know it Cheer can't. Up. I know it It literally can't. I just need to ha to take my medication seriously. So you are still good. taking your medication? Yes. I, I can't stop taking my medication. That is what keeps me alive. But you also drink? Once in a while. Ah, your lives are not once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, you are, he's not once, once in, in a while. while. Be now. Once in a while, it'll be. They have been seen. I'm like, oh, why is he drinking and he's using the RVs? Is he not affecting? And then you just, you know, you love your, you love your bottle. I don't love my bottle. I'm putting the bottle down, by the way. I, I've, I've. You should consider that, bro. I'm talking to a counselor right now, yeah. who's really, who's ha helping me know how to, 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 to live among. To live among people, I'm I'm alone. I don't know how to live. Kushi na watu na get like okay. I don't know how to associate with friends. So because I've been raised alone, you are the only one people look up to. So a lot of expectations from the society, from the community right now is just too much. Okay. And that is why sometimes I find solace in the bottle. But now I wanna put it down completely. You don't know when when you drink. You'll find solace, but when you're sober, you go back to the same, same problem. Exactly, you go back to that, and You've that not is, solved it. I've realized that, and I'm working on it. Bro, man, try, try. Is that why you went and said you're in love with Kibe? Kibe? <laughs> I admire Kibe's charisma. Like, he's just, he's just, a, he's, he's going to tell you to stop being lambistic. Like, just wake the fuck up and do what? He has his positive sides, uh -huh. but his negative sides are overweighing his positive sides. What? The, no, no. The negative sides is that he... How do I put it? He insults people uh -huh. and brands people names without having facts. For example, Kibe says I'm gay. Okay. He calls me gay for whatever reason. Okay. I'm not gay. Sure. He doesn't know it. But in his head, for him to sell his content, he'll call me and call me all those names. He calls me and gets whatever. But he doesn't sit down and think and say, what perception am I selling? What if my kids see that? My parents, my fans, my friends, my haters. Everybody will take it differently. Sure. And I'm not the only person. Kibe will start body shaming people. Kibe will start disrespecting people. The way he'll talk. There's some things he always says. I'm like, yeah, this one makes a lot of sense. This is good. Mm -hmm. But the... The bad outweighs the good. Actually, I wish him well in whatever he does. No, 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 no. I really don't care. I don't give a shit about him. Whatever he does, Let he's him. never helped my life. I'll never help his life. And we move. True. It melts him, pay his bills, it's okay. Mm -hmm. But the reason why I'm having this condition was that you said you love him. I love Andrew Kibe. Okay. I adore Andrew Kibe. Content wise. Content wise. Or, or, ah, you well, know. Not sure. <laughs> <laughs> the video you saw was just like a hoax. Like it was just something we thought of when you were to look out to Noshango, by the way. Okay. And then a friend of mine told me, I am by this. Wingilet one joke about one and come in. 
Oh. And then I went put on my wig and like, ah, Andrew Kibbe. Many times. But I admire what he says. Like, he, he's, he motivates me to stop being, to stop doing nothing about my life. Okay. You're, you're only depressed because you're doing nothing about what is disturbing you. Have you considered listening to Andrew Tate? Yes, I listen to Andrew Tate a lot. Have you heard him talk negatively about people? No, he just, no. Very good. Mm. Positive should be positive. Not wrapped in a way to, but it's fine. Different people consume different things. The That's same true. way someone at Akunyo Abia, Mutungina at Akunyo Changa, and they're like, provided you get high, it's off the bubble, so it's fine. I guess so. Whatever I choose to consume. Do you consume men or women? <laughs> <laughs> I consume personality. Yeah, you can You are equal to choices. I consume personality. Are you straight? Are you gay? Yes, I'm straight. You sure? Uh, very Since sure. some very funny videos you do there, I'm like, this guy is a bit... Mm -hmm. Why will Lerico Mondi put on a dress by and that will be okay? He will Nobody do has one said with it's okay. Week? Nobody has said it's okay. We always go like Eric is not normal in the head. We all know Eric is that child that you hide when visitors come. <laughs> <laughs> but I've also done content uh, dressed like a lady. Exactly. No, people do, but yours is a little bit kidogo. Ho ho you ever not? seen me twerking for another man? Bro, put your shit on that side, bro. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but you, you go on live there, you with another man like this. I'm like, Chira. Uh, Brian Chira. <laughs> like, is that you? <laughs> I'm very straight to put it on record. Okay. It's just content. And since that is what. Kenyans want to consume, I'm going to give, give it to you. Okay. Yes. Are you dating? No, I'm not dating. I, w I want to be financial stable before I get someone to. Who's your crush? My crush? Yes. Ajib Gadoni. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> you like the gym babes? I. <laughs> She's a player. <laughs> the Nigers babies. Oh! oh. <laughs> Okay, okay. Yes. I'll see you. Mm -hmm. I'll see you. That's nice. Yeah. Not a bad choice. I know. Yeah, not a bad choice. She's and, expensive. Any message for Ajib Gadoni? Ajib, baby. <laughs> I'm looking for money for you. I, exactly. <laughs> I'm looking money to spoil you. I'm looking money to fend for you. Where? Yeah. <laughs> so, I've, when we are talking, you mentioned you are on a form and go on in. So, I've picked from the conversation. It's like you've done a couple of odd jobs. Yes, I have. Which ones? Fully out to go. Okay. Be out to find me for. Kuinua mama, that is Mzengo. Okay. I've done that. Nime kwa nime oshia out to viombozao. Like you see, there are these rich kids who who can't touch their utensils just because they. Unajua tu. Ata mispena kusha viombo. So ni tenge a pallet zigo ni oshia viombo ni poe mi angu one fifty or two hundred, and I'm good to go. Okay. Yeah. So there's a time you uh, you went on a video rant, of course, on TikTok. You mm -hmm. said you were depressed. Yeah. How how has your uh, depression journey been? How did you overcome it? Have you overcome it? Because we know the other people are probably in it right now. True. Yeah. What can we tell them? I think. So what started it, or how did you find out you were depressed? I found out I'm depressed uh, when I. When I stole everything in my house because of liquor. Wow. It was that bad. Because when my aunt was passing on, that was in 2020, September. Okay. My house was full. It was a kitanda, it was a gas. So that, the hard death spiraled me into a, into a place that I see, you know, when someone loves you so much and they leave you all over a sudden. It became too much for me to handle, so the bottle was my best option. I love for Sani, let time your mom has passed on, so you have like a few little coins that people have been shangaring for you, and people give you like as a well wish just to, you know, the money always counts. But yeah. I say, Dangi Sana, unless you, unless you do something important with it, you, 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 all, you will misuse it. So I got into drinking, when I became so toxic with my friends, like I. Yeah. So, looking back, that is when I noticed after now me sleeping on the floor, having no even a duvet, and you're like, is this what I want for myself? No, that is when now I'm Imagine. <laughs>
that is in a span of two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my uncle was a drunkard. He was selling everything, but duvet akuza, bro. <laughs> duvet. I know it was that bad, literally. Wow. So you could have The shit, the shit. There, there's some, there's some thick shit. So let's go down the list of the things you sold. Gas. Gas, Kitana. of course, gas in a kwanza kwanza kuenda. Who who needs food? food. Of course, yeah. Kitanda, okay. Who needs a bed? You can sleep on the couch. Exactly. Uh -huh. Then the couch be okauza. <laughs> <laughs> who needs a couch? Laptop ni kauza. Uh huh. Because yeah, in your after sasa pesa ni shakata sasa. The next two things is a laptop. Uh huh. Uh, duve sasa. Duve. <laughs> Let's <laughs> say you come on a game of mana. ma plates are kuza. Is this the the level you end up? You end up with neighbor to kuna kuna pombe. You na jifanya you end up kau kuto. You na dia chau. But I, we're looking back. I'm I'm happy. I realized sooner or later that uh, it was bad, and I need to do better for myself. Okay. Yeah. So you sold everything. Then you figured you are depressed. Later. That is. 2022, the whole okay. of 2021. You thought you're okay. I thought I was okay. That is when now things were escalating, drinking a lot, having, becoming toxic to friends, losing friendships and everything. Yeah. And that is now in 2022. Now I noticed that shit. Right now we are not okay. We are Have not. Have to change. Okay. We are not okay. Then what happened? What did you do? I started seeing a counselor. Okay. But then it, I fell back. I backslid again. That is after this time now that has come in. Okay. The beginning of this year. The beginning of this year because I got a lot of people calling me gay because I speak like a woman. People calling me all sorts of names, insulting me. I can't go to a club without people no someone noticing me. Oh, Chira, Brian, Chira. And then they expect me to buy them drinks because I'm famous. <laughs> and then you were like, bro, Comes I wish Comes to the name, baby. Me. To he who much gi is given. Drink, drinks are required. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you're like, what is the kwa nyumba? And that's excluding myself in the house. Also now, ili ili aggravate that the feeling, the the depression. Yeah. Okay. But now, now I think I'm in a better place. I think I'm doing good for myself. Okay. Yes, I'm still toxic to my to my friends, but I whenever I notice I'm, I'm I, I I stop and. What do you sorry. mean toxic to your friends? What do you do? Yeah, I get upset very easily. I do too, but I keep quiet. Not Bro, me on a snap heavy. Nick just snap na nyamaza too, then I walk away. It's but the best thing to do. Try it. Yeah, I'm trying. No, yeah. that, that, that Try it. the middle. It helps you solve a lot of issues. Because if you get angry then you insult, you do whatever. You create more harm than good. Actually I've lost so many friendships because of of all this, it, and I really, I really, I really don't like it. And can I say sorry to someone online? Yes, yes. Tizian yes. Savage, I really, 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 for whatever that is going on, you know I got your back. Yeah. Okay. There you have it. Any questions that you want uh, Brian to answer before we let him go? We've been here for a while now. Just do it on the comment section below. Uh, I'll just be reading them here. Any questions that Eriko Yugi focus. <laughs> Any questions that you want uh, Brian to answer, just uh, write them down there. Uh, then I'll be able to ask. People are saying you sound like Larry Mado. Ebu say I'm Larry Mado. Whoa. I'm Larry Mado. When they said zipper. Say I'm Larry Mado. No. <laughs> it can, by the way. I'm Larry you Mado. never know. You never know. Yeah. Like right now, I've just seen a very. I've, I've seen a. I'll tell you, I'll tell you off air. But okay. I've seen an opportunity that we will make money together. Oh, wow. So we'll make some small money on the side. Mm. You know, now, like you always see, like you see when, when, when you sent, uh, when you came for an interview with Munga Eve, then she sent somebody, mm -hmm. you're going to be my somebody. Oh, I'm okay. going to be sending you. I'm like, yo, Brad Chira, and go interview our mama on Atakaje. <laughs> I am mama. I am Chira. Brian, Brian Chira. Chira. Reporting for being a TV. <laughs> yeah, yeah. let's do it we will discuss it on the side we see what's possible sure. uh, because the voice is there 
Chira, please tell us about your net worth. Yes, by the way, what? how much money do you make on TikTok? Because there was rumors and speculations. I think I've, I've, I've touched my first few million. Yo, I can see the drip. I can see the drip. Let me see the shoes. Let me see the shoes. Oh, okay. okay. Jay's on my feet. Hey, Jay's on my feet. You got me. Okay? Yes. Because like when I call you, you came with a taxi from Nakuru. Yes, you got a pesa. I so I was talking to, to Chira. So when I, today I was talking to you at around 4 p.m. Then they're telling me, I'm going to come. I'm like, where are you? I'm like, I'm in Nakuru. I'm just getting a cab. I'm like, you're getting a cab. You're in Nakuru. You came with a cab from Nakuru. Are you, are you normal? <laughs> Molo line. No thrift. I was coming to meet Obain and Lazima standard. Bro, no. Standard. Uh -uh. <laughs> this is the same thing that I always have with Slay Queens. Why? Umezoya kupanda matatu. Mm. Just because Obina has called you for a meeting, I need to meet a taxi kutoka thika mbaka Nairobi. Shimigina natoka sujui machakos. Need to meet a taxi. Skia, I'll send the money, yes. Uh -huh. But to me, Akili, Panda Mart, <laughs> Fika Karibu, request Faras Nini, Nga kwa Faras, Shuka hapo. Akili mtu wangu. We umetoka machakos na, na taxi, then unarudi kwa umeka ukiwa. <laughs> Sasa we, okay, how much are you worth? I'm worth, I'm worth three million right now. Kenya shillings? Yeah. Uh -huh. How much do you make on TikTok? 200,000, if I decide to go on a serious life. You go on live, you make 200,000. If I decide to go on a serious live. My team, we are failing. <laughs> <laughs> I go on live. Are those people on TikTok there? Yes. How, many, uh, how many are they? 900 people on my TikTok. Monani West. Imagine always go on TikTok. These people don't give me nothing. They give me nothing. Imagine. Then you, you're hanging out with the wrong people. My Ch TikTok, Ch please introduce <laughs> me. What do you call your, your, your team on TikTok? Chira Clan. Chira Clan. <laughs> <laughs> please, man. Please don't do me like this. 200,000 per life. If I decide to go on a serious life. Okay, an unserious life, like the ones I always go on. 50 Gs. 50 K? Yeah. Per life. Per life. Bro, you're not going on live every day. <laughs> what do you do on that life? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> For example, I'm just trying to, you know, pick your brain. Maybe I can also extend the same on my life. <laughs> just be unique. Just be, just be yourself. What do you mean be unique? Go there, cook whatever you're cooking. Cook what? Bro, I don't cook no more. I'm past that stage. No, start Got cooking and the now. money and start cooking and the money will start coming in. So cooking is the thing. Cooking. Cooking what? You know there's cooking the ngingi. Wogro wog. But yeah, just be unique. So you, you go to cook on life? Not cooking per se, but in a Zamwa Leo Sina Sapa and then if you go to Kamera Angus, you pick a city what? And you get fifty K. Yeah, Nezamwa Leo na fuangu. Ay, kwani ni tabueka peke yang. Hivi kwa live. Situ fuangu kwani. Ah Okay. And then now there's the matches where people come play matches. Is a match where I can only call in your call in Tandika Viba Namutuma man. I don't like it. One and a bit twenty twenty two. We do that match thing. Where? Then we tell people, ah, yeah. Roses. Tap tap on the screen. Sui, what what? Tapuru tapuru. That, that one. That, that one. one. And, then, and then that then that red thing comes sh, 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 all the time. I see that kafani face. Mm -hmm. uh, I lose. I've, I'm always losing that thing. Today we'll try with you. Hopefully, you, we'll see. Yeah, you have money, bro. Money is never enough. Do you know what's better than money? Mm -hmm. More money. For sure. <laughs> for sure. That is why we're here, looking for this money. Yes. Gifts quelly in Africa, 200 Gs. Don't know, Lisa Ivo. Tomorrow I lie on statue. You only 70K. Universe is statue, that is 70K. Okay, Universe, moja ni pesa ngapi? That is 34 Gs. 34 Gs? Yeah, why? Mimi wajai ni tumia Universe, wantumia yangu tu flower. Izo ma flower ni nini? It's roses, they're called roses. They're how much? That is one bob. Wow, guys. You're worth one bob. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Must be beautiful. Wow. I go on live like this. I see kuna muda mikuja metumizo maflawa kama 24. Kuma 24, Bob. Imagine. Even over your many beba. Actually, it's 12, Bob, because... <laughs> wow. TikTok cuts half of the, of your coin. With all I've done for you. <laughs> Imagine that. Aya, aya, okay. Uh, was he born with it? Watch the interview. Come on, join late. He said how he got HIV positive. The story is there. Say, Madam Rich Boy. Oh. Okay. Is he going to improve his living condition? No. Not a bed sitter. See, I'm a bed sitter anytime soon. Sina Raka. When you're a kikuyu, Sindio? Sina Raka. I do a job. Eh, Benjamin. 
sina raka ubeni. Ungekuwa unyango sasa hizi. Ah ningekuwa watu wengi. Manso. Eh unasema ii bwana TikTok is paying what do you mean? Na kukaukia. Nitakukiwa. Na kukauka. Bro, ukikauka at least umesha issue kwa mansion. Think with me bro. Okay. Think with me. Oh at least. <laughs> at least I was there. Yeah. Tell us your net worth that one we've just said. Your relationship with Manzi wa Meru, Manzi wa Mombasa. We're just good friends. Okay. Yeah, and it, 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 I don't know. We're just friends. We're just friends. Okay. And they are content creators, so you know, as a content creator, you you will, I will definitely hang out with content creators. You as a radio presenter, you to hang out with presenters in Guinea. Okay. Yeah. Zulu King is saying, uh, "How do you handle yourself with all this fame?" It's it's overwhelming at some point, but I like it. Mood if ungea kwanyuma sengine and I pray a lot. Okay. And I ask God to give me the faith. To just maneuver and eh kupata na mafans hapa tu ni mingi all these waiters literally know me of course that's Lit- the way it happens bro so i'm like wait pull up and then now you have to put on yourself high standards now like let's not survive this story happy. you have to be happy you know what most people don't know when when you're famous or when you're popular mm-hmm. sometimes you're down sometimes you're up so sometimes you're down you just want to be alone but you meet your fans <laughs> Oh my god, Brian Chira. So the hi guys. <laughs> Let's take a picture here. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, deep down, you're just like, just leave me alone. Sure. And if you don't talk to them, they're like, Akona Maringo. New Kweli. They expect it to be always. <laughs> New Kweli. Yeah. New Kweli. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's someone here saying, uh, Collins Rop, have you considered having Twitter spaces? Do you know Twitter spaces? Yes, I, yes. Yeah. I'm actually starting a podcast, Chira's, Chira's Tech. Oh, Chira's take. Yes, Chira's take, like my opinion. Oh, take. Yeah, Same like, take. I was looking at tech because you're studying. Oh, yeah. No, you say take. Tech. Okay. Okay. Uh, what's the most awkward moment on your life? That's John Gasheru. The most awkward moment is not really I have I don't think there there has ever been an awkward moment. Hmm. I, I control my life. So okay. if I bring up a guest and i feel they're not resonating with what i'm saying that day yeah. i'm going to drop you as soon as you will pick up okay yeah ashiro goni anuliza unasomanga sangapi you soma because umesema unafanya science and mathematics you? it's economics and mathematics you are doing economics and mathematics yes unasomanga sangapi you soma usiku una calculate sangapi you have to calculate unasoma usiku na usiku uko live una twerk i wait to that thing will be na is in my what No, usiku uko pale kwa live unafanya mambo yako. Guys, mm-hmm. tap 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 the screen tapuru. <laughs> But uh, I'm balancing my education obina. Okay. Man. Okay. Eh, uh, Mwai Liden is asking how do you juggle TikTok and school? I'm just branchira. I know I know how to find find my way among them. Na kuna YouTube. YouTube is a free university that is what they call it. Mhm. Yeah. Maina Hamani saying say hi to my homemade Chira. Hi Maina. Uh, then also uh, Prince Prince, we have Tom Chepkwon they asking about a guy called Tizian. Is there a guy or a lady? It's Tizian Savage. He's It's a lady or a man? It's a man. Okay, what's that about? He, 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 he w- what happened? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Give us the tea. <laughs> Nothing happened. And every time we go everywhere it his name comes up because we trended at the same time and okay. when a kuru TikToker is Oh. So we just team influences who happened to be on the live at the same time. So okay. we did a couple of videos that really went viral. Okay. And people started speculating that we were dating and we're not dating. He's straight up straight. He has his girlfriend. I have my my whatever going on. And yeah. Otizian. Or you guys do lives together? Yeah, we played matches together. That is when I think he was, I was the first person he ever played a match with. Okay. And now he need his The reason as you people don't see us together is because everybody has their thing to do. We were given each other their space to do. To shafika ile place to lokotona taka kufika. Personally I think that me bado sijafika. I want to do more and more and more and more. Kuna mtu amefika bro. Okay. Kama Ruto hajafika. <laughs> Kama baba hajafika. Do you know how much money baba has? How much money Ruto has? Hawajafika bro. They still wake up every morning. Wana ona gashago na ngengo ofisi yake saa ngapi? 5. Wana jo pesa gashago ako nayo. I just think bro yes eh, nobody I mean, what do I think you go for holiday that's true, that's true. but it's fine so we have a uh, frank digital you're saying ask chira why he's always drunk uh, he spoke about it I actually asked him one of the first questions I asked so you'll watch the interview after this just uh, 
go back and then you'll watch it. We spoke about that one as well. Uh, Mr. Green. <laughs> I know they have funny oh, comments. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We have some here that. Mm -mm. <laughs> Auntie? Pauline Ochenga nasema, isi live ni premier, guys. Maybe Obina amelala. Sawa, nimesoma. Help me with my TikTok so I can also get some questions from TikTok because our TikTok wawa naamua. Yes, Tracy Atieno is saying, I'm happy. I'm a happy person today. Actually, read, read this comment for Tracy. Read this comment for Tracy Atieno there. Tracy Atieno, I'm a happy person today. You are so positive today, Chira. Or is it because you are so bad? Anyway, take, take things positive. Kill them too will work surround yourself with people who have positive energy it's true. true there you go we've had a conversation with chira so he's gonna try and change a couple of things that he says on uh, a couple of things that he says on his on his live kidogo atacha kufanya vitu zingine so vitu gani hizo bina mbona mnaniekeleanga atacha kufanya zile vitu zenye wao anafanya pale so mbona mnaniekeleanga yenye wao yeah. today i'm on the throne atukwekele we watch you very well Today I'm on the throne, you know? Yeah, today you're sitting <laughs> on the throne. You said you are the Twitter don, is it? No, I'm the OG of TikTok. OG of TikTok, yes. Okay, so I'm taking like five questions from TikTok and then we can uh, end this. What about his parents? You already spoke about it. He said he was raised by the grandma. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Any gigs you're currently doing and what motivates you no matter the negative comments? Just being out there. Okay. I, w I wanna be an influencer, so okay. I have to keep pushing. The negative comments are just by the way. The more you hit, the more someone is gonna know, want to know about Chira. Okay. Yeah. And um, Chira is very humble. Is Terry your sister? No. Your beef with Nyako. We spoke about what? the beef with Nyako. You watch the interview. You'll see. Are you straight? We've spoken about that. He said he's straight. Where do yourself? <laughs> where do you see yourself is coming here? You swali ashu lizangi ya. Why you swali ano lizanga? So where, where do you see yourself? You can't see yourself. You are not God. I know. What is tribe? He sounds like a luo. He just said he's from Kiambu. Um, are they them or they? Are you them or they? He already <laughs> said he's a him. I'm theirs. <laughs> theirs. <laughs> mm. Obina, please mentor him. He's a smart guy. Okay. Kiambu, my, Kiambu, my county. county. Yeah. <clears throat> Guys, tap tap the screen, tap tap the screen. <laughs> Tapuru. <laughs> yeah, uh, tap tap the screen. Yeah, I want to say tap. This like should get to 100,000 likes. Why are we at that 7K? Ask him if he knows Alex Gidinji, his classmate. Three red. Chira slapped me. Really? I'm not violent. You slapped your classmate in class three? No. I just saw. Nyashikis ya kimba, alianza kupiga watu ima teke toka standard two. Uwe alianza kupiga watu ima bare toka standard three. No, I would never do that. Okay. Shira be drinking urban. Kijana ya Sakaja, thank you for the good words. He's a smart, just needs to change a few things. Some Chira. Finya, what do you mean by Finya? I'm not understanding. L, I'm not understanding that thing. Advise him to stop kunyonga life. Unanyonganga life? Okay, no, ni scandal it really happened. Ukanyonga life? No, nothing like that happened, bro. Oh, where? <laughs> <laughs> Chico <laughs> himself will ban me. No, there's this guy called Sikulio. He's the one who did this. Did what? He's the one who created this scandal, like, I don't know what. What scandal? Alinyonga? No, like he was saying, so, I, mean, I went shirtless life because it's my, it's, my, it's my life and I was in my house. I just went shirtless life. Uko na six pack. <laughs> Kama una six pack, mbona tu shati utapata pneumonia? Mbona <laughs> 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 inachomea? But imagine I was just like, imagine I create your story out that ati 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 na nyonga le oh my god. There was nothing like that. So ukunyonga kwa live. Hata siji kunyonga mtu anza. Si kwa shingo tu hivi. Ah. Eh, unaona mtu hivi ako na simu unataka na mnyonga. Unachukua simu. Wow. Where is uh, I don't know who that is. At your bina, your nose in a cafe rim. Oh, I know all. I knows all. Okay, okay. New Quelly. Huh? Okay. Our our work was serious. Our work was serious. Serious, yeah. So, uh, thank you so much, my brother, for coming through. It was nice. Uh, Okay. They are they are saying, hey, Kumbe, this guy is smart upstairs. <laughs> I'm, I'm a genius. 
I'm yeah. engineer. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that's what they are asking. But anyway, thank you so much for coming through. And I really appreciate. And let's hope that the conversation we've had today, later on, you can also rewatch this interview sure. and see how you can implement a couple of things that we've spoken about. Because uh, you said you're 22. Yes, I'm 22. At 22, people are very young and hot-blooded. And there's a couple of things. And when you, when you got the Mombasa ordeal, you're probably 20. Yeah, so sorry. Yeah. So there's a lot of mistakes that young people make. And right now, I just turned 33 on 6th June. So normally when I look at young people, I always try and advise them from a big brother's side. Most will not get because they're like, Obina, you don't understand. I'm like, listen, bro, I got famous when I was 20, 21, 22. I was huge. I was going to all the high schools. So I've been there. I've seen that story. And I made a conscious decision to be a couple of things that have made me where I am today. You see? So... I'm always, just, um, always trying to tell people, don't do this, don't do that, don't do this. And they think, I don't know, but bro, I've been there. So watch, re-strategize. You have a good thing going. The problem with the Kenyan fans is they like negativity. Sure. Like you right now, probably, I was even telling Nyako this thing, uh, because uh, we're working closely with Nyako, and we're trying to find a way that will now clean the brand a bit. There are some words, some things you don't say. But if you stop saying those words, the people will stop paying attention sure. because they are there because you say those words. And Kenyan fans are pretenders. Like if, if I say clean words, I'll have very less viewers. Then you do very controversial things, okay. you have a lot of viewers. But they're the same ones who will hang you up to dry and cancel you because you are not sensitive, you are this, you are this, you are that. But when you say those bad things, is what they want to listen to. Sure. That's what they like. Like when you look at all the scandals that normally trend most of the time, mm -hmm. the scandals trend because guys like the negativity. True. Positive news, bro, don't travel. True. You do something nice, you do whatever, nobody cares. You do a small scandal like this. It goes. It goes, everybody's talking about it. So try and find a balance so you don't come late and start regretting of the words you said and the things you did on live because they have videos there's something i was told before i didn't know mm -hmm. but everything that you do will always remain online and once it is online it will stay there forever you see i've not said this in a minute but i'll tell you because you're my young bro and maybe it will teach you something you saw my scandal with my baby mama sure. i regret my response to it until now I shouldn't have responded because I was the victim. Then when she spoke and I, came, and I came out and started defending myself, every other person who hated me for whatever reason, not that people just hate you because you breathe. So every other person who hated me because of that or every other person who didn't understand where I'm coming from came out guns blazing. You're a narcissist, you're egocentric, you're whatever, you're whatever. Everybody was shooting to kill. They were being for blood, you see. And I was angry. Because I kept on saying, you guys don't see. You guys are not seeing. Not I've been here. I've done this. I've been abused. I've been disrespected. I'm against gender-based violence against men. Da, 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 da. But some people are just like, no, bro. We don't, we don't give a shit. You're the one we're killing. You are bad. You are this. You are this. You are that. Sure. But I made a conscious decision a long time ago. And I said, mm -hmm. I'm going to be very present in my kids' life, in their lives, whatever happens, what happened? whatever happens, I will always be in my kids' lives. We'll fight battles, I'll be called names, I'll be branded, whatever, but I'll always be there. But what I learned from all this situation that was happening with my baby mama, mm -hmm. I should have kept quiet. I was texted, I remember Babo Uno texted me the minute the things just started texting me, told me, bro, don't say a word. Jalas told me, don't do whatever. I don't know. But I was like, you guys don't know. I don't understand. You don't understand. She's doing this for me. She's an Achoma CV. You know, if you come out for me, I, if you go to me, whatever, 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 I have to, you know, I have to reply, I have to respond. I was angry. I was hurting. Men, we don't talk the one for, bro, what's up? Then I tell you my story. Then I'm like, but now you know, bro. Men don't do that. They're just like, Bria, chira, unimono to kanwa. Don't talk. <laughs> then I'm in my business. So I'm like, don't talk. Bro, I'm hurting. It's I have true. to. True. I had nobody to call me and tell me, bro, let's sit down. Let's have a conversation. 
Nobody did. But now at least I have a chance to sit down with other people and tell them, let's have a conversation. This is happening. It's not worth the conversation. Don't reply. Don't respond. The insults, the indecency, the whatever. Later in life, you'll sit down. Like I normally watch the interviews I did during that time. And I was like, I shouldn't have said anything because she knows the truth. I know and the I truth. know the truth. And the kids know the truth because they've been through it all. So if and my mom knows the truth because she was the one I was like, and her parents know the truth, and the close people who I spoke with before everything went to shit. So I'm always just like, if I knew well, mm-hmm. I could have kept quiet. It was not worth it. Sure. Even right now, whatever happens, whatever she'll do, I'll not even respond. I don't have time for that, bro. I'm looking for money. I need to keep my kids fed, schooled, treated, whatever. Sure. They need to be happy. And I always tell every other person who's young. Stop getting in relationships and start looking for marriage before you're like 27, 28. For young girls, before you're 25, 26. Stop looking for marriage. Stop looking for getting to get pregnant. If you're in campus, the minute you get pregnant, school might stop. But one thing that happens is this. The minute you get a child, your life stops and your life starts living for the child. And if you are a man and you've made someone's daughter pregnant, you might bail, but do you know who you're bailing for? It's not the girl. It's a child. Your child. It's not a child. It's your child. So for you to stop all this, just don't have unprotected sex. Stop this thing. Oh, you know me, I'm in love. I'm like, what do you know? You're 22, you're 20. Me, I see people who are 19. They're like, oh my God, me, I'm in love. Me, I want to settle down. Settle down. He's the best man I've known. Oh, she's the best woman. Bro, you've not traveled. I was in Uganda over the weekend, bro. In Kampala, the lady is in. <laughs> you know, you've I not stopped. gone to Dubai. Mm-hmm. You've not gone to Brazil. You've not gone to Mexico. You've not gone to Thailand. You've not gone to South Africa. You've not gone to Ghana, wherever. You, you've met someone in campus. You're like, oh my God, this one is the one I'm getting pregnant for. My sister, calm down. Love the guy, yes, whatever. Stop this nonsense. Of, Let's move into, no. Explore finish school, then after that, now decide what next. So you, you are 20, 22. Famous on TikTok, you are in school. Do whatever you're doing, finish the school. The next chapter. There's always something. Bro, there's something that will happen to you probably in a year's time, or two years, or five years' time. You'll just sit down and look like, yo, I thought I was famous then. Or I thought fame was the way. Like myself, I always say, if I can get some good money, bro, I don't want to be famous. Really? If I get money, the only thing is that I love doing what I'm doing. I love interviewing people. I love motivating, inspiring a couple of people. I like helping a couple of people. It's what I enjoy. I love radio. I love TV. That's the only reason. But if I didn't love radio and TV, bro, I'd be doing other things. There's much more money in businesses than content creation. Sure. Content creation comes to that. It's a double-edged sword. Unatukano, kifanyua, everything, ukipigwa. Okay? So, analyze, think about it. If you can hear my advice, heed it. It's entirely up to you. Then later, just see whatever you're doing. Just balance. Don't be ex- that extreme. I know you're like, you know, I'm just being me. That's what people say. I'm just being me, but... I got you. Mm, like the statement told me, you know, people should pick what they consume. <laughs> There's a thin line, bro. Uh, okay? thin line, true. There's a thin line, because if it's available, then people can consume it accidentally. You know, like, for example, drugs. People never know they like drugs until they try. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Then you try, then now you're hooked to drugs, then now you become useless, a bonzo, or to alcohol, or to weed, whatever it is. And then now you can't function normally. You have to function with this drug. But why did you get it? Because it was available. But you didn't know you were dependent, and now you're dependent. Now some people shake before they drink. Some people, before they have a, 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 a drug, they can't do whatever. But because it was available. They hide today. And they are friends. Like you, who introduced you to alcohol? My friends back in campus. I was a good boy, so when you wanna talk about boxing, so that is how I started drinking. See? Smoke weed? No, I don't. Drugs? No, only alcohol. Yeah. See, now that's what happened. So just check it out and you'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Just I understand that uh, there are always downs and lows. Have you ever thought of suicide? Sometimes back, yeah. <coughs> yeah. But 
I just I couldn't go through with it because my two cousins na yeah na nani yeah it's not it's not really worth it it's not really worth it for people do that I've been there before I've contemplated you know it's not worth it so what I was to tell you in conclusion was there are good times there are bad times even with fame bro it gets to the head and one day you wake up and you do whatever and people don't pay the attention they used to pay and you feel what Amen. and it crushes you so brace for impact there are some times you'll be so hype and so happy and be like oh they love me the same same people that today love you bro tomorrow they'll be begging for your blood that's what happens in showbiz leo and he pend on as a for president kesho obina ni mjinga who the hell is this guy unasikia msema mapu yangu inaka kama no more birimbi so it happens so check it out uh, balance it be patient keep working on the content don't stop keep exploring sending the stuff me and you we love our conversation we see what's possible anything you want to say i'm just i'm just going to shout out to the chira clan and you people have been so supportive of me you people by the i something that i'd really like you to come through is for me with a camera the chira clan you know how we do it a camera will be really nice and they love this so camera much. yeah okay and everything i just i just love you and expect a lot from chira a lot a lot a lot a lot this is what i think you should do mm-hmm. you should go for a gopro what is a gopro it's a small camera mm-hmm. it doesn't get spoiled easily if you shoot with it you can easily access it with your phone and post oh, then I you can see the small things that the small look, one looks yes. like this yes it's a gopro So I'd suggest that's what you go for. Okay. So the guys who are watching the live, let's try and help him raise some money for a GoPro. He can continue doing his content with his phone number that we are sending the money to is 0716 yeah. 184464. Yeah, a GoPro is about a decent one, it's about 60 70 Gs. Yeah. So myself I'll start by donating 1000. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so many we donate 1k. <laughs> Thank you. Hiyo ana kupea tu sasa hii sasa tumalize hii story. No 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 sasa si tumeanza mchango. Hanta unampea ngapi? Mimi nampea 1k. Actually, wacha nikupe 2k. Thank you. Sasa mimi nimekupea 2k ya GoPro. Si ya pombe. Ni ya GoPro ina. Deke mani. Ni daigua. So 07 16 So you on 2K ya GoPro. Thank you. Man. So we are less 58K. Yeah. Yeah. So guys whatever can send 50 bob, 20 bob, 100 bob whatever. Oh you'll get the money and get a GoPro and like to fanya clean content. Okay. Yes, yes. D- do more of the videos because you have a good voice. Do more of the videos. You never know. Yeah, you yeah. can land in National Geographic or BBC or whatever. Don't aim for the clouds bro aim for the skies sure attack bbc na cnn ukianguka na nguka kbc uko like yeah <laughs> I <was laughs> yeah i was like ah, i'm at kbc but i wanted but it's fine yeah, because man. when you aim there you might just you never sure. know you never know sure. larry mado where is he now yeah, doing big know. things bro and he started akifanya the 10 world alikuwa namchekelea hapo ana this this right now he's a big boy so larry mado reporting for cnn larry mado for baby say You know I'm deep in the thick eight. <laughs> so you never Must know. Must be nice. All right. Must be lovely, but Must it has nice. taken time. Sure. And patience he's been trolled, he's been disrespected, but he's there. Bro, sure. it's not easy. And this for every other person who thinking they want to be content creators out there like, "Oh, it would be nice." Fame is not nice. The money is nice, the attention is nice. Sure. But ukijifungia hivi kwa nyumba yako usiku, unajiuliza mbona ule mtu alikuwa ananitukana sasa? Bona sure. alisema mapu yangu inakaa firimbi. Bonifo <laughs> 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 thank you so much Brian Chira. It was nice. Ebebu sign out alafu ambie wa subscribe ki Brian Chira. My name is Chira. Uh, I'm Brian Chira. And don't forget to subscribe. Goja. What? Hey. <laughs> What? <laughs> no. There's a way you change your voice. When you do the thing. All right, in three, two, go. My name is Shira. I'm Ryan Shira. Na kama wewe si pesa, wewe ni pesa stress. Don't forget to subscribe to the Obeda show. And follow me on TikTok Shira Brian 
and the Tira clan, I love you so much. <laughs> I like that slogan. Come waste your pesa, waste the pay of stress. <laughs> hey, that's fire. I know. Yeah, Mimi, come and waste your pesa, waste the pay of stress. Okay, now come and waste your with a. With a <laughs> 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 All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much. Comment, like, subscribe. Miale72 in Lovington. Miale Lounge. Mwah. Thank you so much for hosting us. We'll keep on coming back for more. Guys, if you want to come and hang out at Miale, this is the best place. Privacy. They have some dope cubicles you can hide in. Amazing uh, uh, parking lot. They have a car wash. And their food is just... Napia Wi-Fi on strong. Don't tell them I told you. If you get your password. <laughs> We are out. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Tomorrow's episode is going to be very interesting. Tomorrow we are doing a live here. So we have two lives that we might do tomorrow. Okay? One live. I don't know. Should I say? Okay. So one live that we might do tomorrow that is yet to be confirmed is for Jalango. Why Langata is his priority. We've seen what's been happening with uh, Jalango and Langata. So we might have that live tomorrow. You know he's a busy man. So if he's available, we'll do it tomorrow as well. And also, Ethic, their manager is called Jack. You remember Ethic? Yeah. Uh, Swat, uh, Reckless. Uh, the name of the other guy? Sherry for somebody. Yes. So their manager called me today, told me he wants to talk about Ethic and say why the ethic band, the boy band broke up, what really happened. And he said, this tea is hot. Nikawambia, are you sure this story is interesting? Because come on, why? I'll just bring a camera. I'll send Brian Chira. Uh. Come on, hi, Brian, what happened? But he said he has exclusive uh, conversation on why ethic boy band broke up and why Reckless is not where Reckless is supposed to be. Because, you know, he's amazingly talented. Why Swat is not where Swat is supposed to be. Mtoto Ayunis, because also amazingly talented. And the other, gent uh, the other two gentlemen also in the, the boy band, where they are, what really happened. So that's guaranteed. So we're going to be having Jack tomorrow, the manager for Ethic, or the former manager. And also, if time allows and Moshimiwa Jalas is available, we'll also have a live with him just before we do the one for Jack or Jack. Then Moshimiwa Jalas. So tomorrow, same place, same time, 9 p.m., Miale 72 Lounge in Lavington, Obina Show Live on Obina TV. See ya, we're out. Uh, nice. It's very nice, and I want us to do that thing. We try to do that thing. Which one? The one for the game thing. So what, what do I do now? You want to play a match? We do. I, that ended, I ended my life. Yeah, you can join, you see. We want to try and do a match with Brian Chira. Mtakupiga? Uninyo Roche. Mimi nimezoya kupigwa, bro.